Hello, and today I'm going to be drawing the life of Henry Oates. Um, his full name is Henry Oates Currywinkle Simon, and one of the most the most asked question I get is how did I come up with that name? And the answer is I have no idea. I <laughs> kind of I just really like old English names, so Henry uh, was my first pick, and I like hyphenated names, so. Um, I just merge words together and if it sounds cute, um, it kind of sticks. Um, same with Scurrywinkle. He used to scurry a lot when he was a little one. And um, yeah, <laughs> so we call him Henzo. Um, and how he came into my life was, it was 2016 and it was my birthday and George came home with a couple of my friends uh, with a little box and in there was Henry. And um, he was adopted from uh, the animal shelter care, uh, which is Charlie's Animal Rescue Center. Um, it's called Charlie, there's no relation, but um, they are truly the loveliest um, rescue center. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've been talking about wanting a guinea pig because I've had one uh, since I was little, like I've had a lot of guinea pigs, so I kind of know how they are and their personalities and stuff like that. And uh, so I was like extremely excited. Um, he was really tiny when you got him. I think he was just a month old and um, so tiny. He's the, definitely the youngest guinea pig I've ever had. And uh, so in the beginning, I only stared at him, I think, because he was so tiny and so adorable. And he was really scared, not scared, I would say timid. And um, of course, because he was a baby. And um, uh, one of the things, uh, and also another question I got asked a lot is how Charlie responded to him. And Charlie was super curious. And I know Charlie's, um, like how Charlie behaves with other animals, and he's really good, he listens. Um, so I obviously did not leave Charlie and Henry alone when I just got him and it took I think it was about a month or two for me to uh, get them together without like complete 300% supervision um, and then Charlie gets bored <laughs> after a while and that's how we I got them together in the beginning because he was really small I used to only keep him in confined spaces so it was we have this separate uh, toilet and uh, obviously you close all the holes and stuff like that so I used to watch him and let him go around till he gets and I used to sit in the bathroom sometimes with him and um, I basically get him used to me hanging out with him and him with human companions uh, one of uh, and sorry one of the things that I think uh, also another question is is uh, guinea pigs are super social and because of that and because he's a single guinea pig I m I play with him a lot, so he's pretty much, I'm pretty much his guinea pig. <laughs> um, so he follows me around the house. Um, he's left for a lot of the day, and I think most guinea pigs follow. I mean, not pretty much every guinea pig I've ever had followed me around, and he's no different that way. Um, he's definitely a lot more brattier, and as he grew older, he got less obviously less timid uh he's not he's really not timid now at all uh to the point where i think he's a bit of a bully with charlie he kind of takes over charlie's bed and then charlie um <laughs> charlie sleeps elsewhere charlie is not too happy sharing so um charlie pretty much moves if henry comes or tries to play with him in a way um henry does do something weird which no other guinea pig of mine did i mean well we didn't have a option with dogs because Charlie was my first dog, but um, Henry, Henry t tends to eat, not eat, but like, yeah, kind of eat Charlie's tail. Henry is, a, I call him a little eggplant because he's the size of one and <laughs> he's about a kg. So a few facts about Henry is that I wish he would sit on my desk. Uh, I tried, but he uh, peed and pooed. Um, and that was the last I ever kept him there. Unlike some other guinea pigs I had who used to sit and just sleep on my desk when I work. Um, he's, uh, he poops everywhere. So everyone asks me, how does he poop? He poops not everywhere, but he has like certain de designated spots where I kind of clean up after he does. And he's got his own bed, of course, like you've seen. Um, 2017, last, basically last Christmas was when uh, a little Christmas, I call it my Christmas miracle because on Christmas Eve, he came and sat at 
in my lap and slept, which I never, ever had him do before or hence have. And um, so it only happened on that day. And I think I died um, with happiness and I saved it and I had my phone with me and I recorded it. I think it's in, in highlights on Instagram, but I'm not too sure. I think it is. Some of his nicknames are Henny, Henzo, Fatso. Fatso is also my nickname, by the way. I was a chubby baby. Um, and um, baby boy, little son. Um, Henzo a lot. I call him Henzo. And now a recent one is Minnie Mouse, but not like the Minnie Mouse, which is a girl. Uh, but Minnie Mouse, like, because he's a little mini mouse. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. Um... And so Henry sends his little kisses and very inquisitive snout love.